Hey, this is Jason Curley at jasoncurley.com and I am going to show you, do a little tutorial on how to add start in and out, start and end times on a video in ProPresenter 4. If you're using ProPresenter 4, it has some great features, so I'm going to walk you through some of the steps. Uh, I already have my ProPresenter open and I already have my video in a place on my computer where I know it's at, so I hope you have already done that. Uh, over here on the left side you'll see the library. First thing I'm going to do is click this little button here and that will start an untitled slide, new, new presentation. I'm going to name it. Obviously I'm going to name it uh, pretty much what the video message is called and also I like to, uh, you can see it'll start <coughs> sorting them pretty quick. membership 101 and then I'm also gonna put it in a category that I like so I'll know where it is uh, you see that when I click on that it brings up this little black uh, slide up here editing slide uh, first thing I do I want to get rid of that word text there and so I will click edit and then I'll click anywhere out in the black area that'll bring that text box up, box up and I will hit delete on my keyboard and hit done. Uh, next step I will do is I will right click. That gives me the uh, ability to do some different features. Uh, I'm going to add a media queue and since I know where my video is I'm going to go straight to it where I stored it and there it is right there and I will hit open. You'll see that this is a video uh, is 38 minutes long uh, because it's the message for this weekend and it added a little icon right above it that lets me know there's something on there. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click back on that media queue properties again and here it will bring up my media kind of inspector. Well, one of the things I can do is I can add a little volume if, if my audio's down. Uh, over here on the scale behavior on my screen I can stretch it to fill, scale to fill. Uh, also if I needed to speed it up I wouldn't re recommend that on a preaching video uh, but if you had just like an animated video you could speed it up you could also change uh, color and all that but we're gonna do some start and stop times and so I can take my slide probably about to where I think it's gonna be starting and I will click play and let's say I wanted to start it right there you can see I'm at 244 and I may watch it a couple of times uh, but if I'm happy with that particular place then I will hit the end button and that will tell the computer the program ProPresenter 4 that I want it to come in at that time uh, next thing you do I'll maybe drag it and let's say you see that little thumbnail there let's say I didn't want that one because it's kinda no more no more relevant then I would hit set thumbnail and it will take a snapshot of that and that'll become now my thumbnail and then let's say at the very end I want it to end maybe not right at the very end but pretty close so then I'll play and listen okay let's say I want it to stop right after Pastor Bill Cornelius says amen and I will hit out now I've started it it's gonna come in at this time gonna go out at that time then all I have to do is hit my little X there because it's already set up. That will save it right there and just to test drive it, I click start. Welcome, how are you? You can see Great it started you, right David. at that point. If I drag it to the end, drag it right to the end there. Pass away, but until then, test it out. And sure enough, it stopped right where I wanted it to. And that right there is how you add a start and a stop time uh, to a video that you want to play as a message on your pro presenter.